हेलो सलाम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ हवर विन सी सी रन टाइम स्काडा सो विन सी सी आर टी स्काडा सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कनेक्ट योर विन सी सी रन टाइम स्काडा टू योर माइक्रोलॉजिक्स और एल एन ब्रेडले पी एल सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट अ फिजिकल सो you are going to connect it with your physical otherwise you will also connect with your rs logics 500 or 5000 emulator without a plc without a micro logics plc you will easily connect your vncc runtime scada to micro logics or with rs logics 500 5000 emulator so you will see that here is my runtime screen and now you will see that my micro logics emulate is going to ready and it is now connected and our rs logics 500 500 is now in running mode and emulate 500 is also in running mode and you will see that it is now connected now you will see i have a software which is virtual serial port driver so if you watch my indosoft tutorial so you will easily understand what is virtual serial port drivers you will easily download it a trial version from an internet now i'm going to create a port you will see which is com port 1 and com port 2 i'm going to add it and you will see here is com port 1 and com port 2 now i'm going to create a com port highway so you will see channel 0 data highway and i am going to select a com port 1 9600 by 100 non and crc so you will see that it will show you in your com so you will see that here it is now we are going to create a connection in your plc so you will see that first in the previous video i am going to show you how you connect with your siemens plc sim to plc sim to win cc run time connect communication so in this video i am going to show you how you connect to micrologix or rs logic 500 ml so we are going to create a new connection so you will see that and i am going to select a driver which is allen bradley df1 driver so you will see that a df1 driver and in this com port we are going to select a com port 2 so you will see that we have a pair com port 1 and com port 2 So I'm going to select a com port two, and you will see that it is 9600 by 8 even one, and we are going to change it to CRC, and you will see that it will now ready. I'm going to save that and go into my screen, and you will see that in this I am going to select a numeric entry, and I am going to change it to. Like that to a single line, and point nine, and we are going to tag. So I change my tag. I change my tag, and now I am going to create a tag. So you will see that here is my set point, which is F8 column three. I am going to show you F8 column three, which is our set point, and now I am going to show you. to name it a set point and i am going to change a connection to connection 1 and i am going to change a data type to real and now we are going to select a tag so you will see address we are going to change it to f8 column 3 and okay so our tag is now created now i'm going to screen and i am going to connect it with my tag so where is my tag i am going to my hmi hmi tags default tags and here is my set point tag which is f8 column 3 i am going to do like that and i am going to Think again. Change it to 9.9. Now I'm going to save that, 
and I am going to compile that and run my runtime screen so you will see that now I am going to change my tag I am going to enter 8.9 and in the micro logics so you will see that 8.9 8.9 so you will see that it is easily connected to my MicroLogix RS Logix 500 emulate so I am going to change it to 4.5 so you will see that it is 4.5 so you will see it is now connected to my RS Logix 500 emulate so that's it so thank you very much for watch my video Please subscribe my channel, like my video, click the bell icons and don't forget in the descriptions I give my contact number and also which you will contact me on WhatsApp and also my playlist on Indosoft SCADA, Ignition SCADA, Factory IO tutorials and TIA portal tutorials as well so if you want to learn watch my videos so thank you very much again for watch my video